Let's talk about the third way to prepare an invoice out of your QuickBooks software. The third way is to prepare an invoice from scratch. This simply means that we do not have an estimate or any time or cost in the QuickBooks system already. Preparing an invoice from scratch is usually the most common way that people prepare invoices out of QuickBooks. Let's come here to the Customer Navigator and click on the Invoices button. Here, let's select the customer for whom we're going to prepare the invoice. Let's invoice Chris Baker. You can see that QuickBooks assigns the next available invoice number. Here we can come in and fill out the body of the invoice. The item we're going to sell is repair work, $35 an hour, and we had four hours. We also had some famous doorknobs that we had to put on. Four of these. Next, Chris is one of our preferred customers. We're going to give him a discount. Let's come down here and look for our line item, Discount. Discount is 10%. See how much our discount is? $12. That's because the discount line item is merely based on the line above. So therefore we need a subtotal in here. Let's insert a line above discount. Come here under edit and come down to insert line. Here let's bring in a subtotal. subtotal. Now our subtotal is $260 and our discount is $26. Now we're ready to print this invoice. Let's uncheck the to be printed and let's look at a couple of ways we can send this invoice. Of course we can print it and mail it. Let's come up here under the send choice. Here we can email it or fax it. Let's look at emailing it. We click here and the information pulls in for Chris, his email address that we have set up, along with a message on a cover page. Emailing invoices is great because it enables us to get paid faster using online payment. This will allow our customers to pay us online via credit card or a bank draft. Let's click on send later. And that's all we need to do to process an invoice from scratch.